So I will tell you that there is a lot of evidence in the animal models that show that hypothermia improves neurologic outcomes, particularly after cardiac arrest, which is basically the biggest stroke of a patient's life is when they undergo, you know, having their heart stop. Um, and so we have for years in neurocritical care said, well, if in cardiac arrest, the animal data shows that, you know, hypothermia can help heal, is that the case in humans? And can we apply that to all brain pathologies? Is hypothermia better? And honestly, we really have not been able to demonstrate that hypothermia is better for brain recovery. However, we do know that fever prevention is certainly closely associated with patients who have worse neurologic outcomes. It is not clear whether hyperthermia drives those worsening neurologic outcomes, but it is closely related. And for now, we are in neurocritical care really focused on maintaining, you guessed it, normothermia. Again, the brain wants a normal environment to heal, right? So we want to keep the patients between 36 and 37 degrees Celsius. And we know that fever might be a bad thing for patients, um, even though aggressive treatment with devices has not been shown to improve neurologic outcomes. So again, this is just, we're seeing the same thing again and again.